In today's video, I'm going to be going over the top five best VPNs. Whether you're on a Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, or Android device, and you're looking for a VPN that's either super fast, has a lot of bandwidth available, or you just wanna watch some Netflix, there is going to be something on this list for everyone. I'll be going over the pros and cons of each VPN, and hopefully by the end, you can find the perfect one for you. And all I ask is that you hit that like button down below. So with that being said, let's get started. Now the good thing about all five of these VPNs is that they're all very, very simple to use. Regardless of what device you download them and which VPN you choose, for all of them, all you have to do is download the VPN and then choose your server and then you can just turn it on and off, which is really, really nice because what it means for you is that you can also quickly test out these different VPNs and see which one is best for you by also trying them out. Now these VPNs aren't ranked in any particular order, but the first one we're going to be talking about is Hotspot Shield Basic Edition. Hotspot Shield is available for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS. And with the free version, you can access the American server, use one device, and you can get 500 megabytes of bandwidth per day. I would say that Hotspot Shield is the perfect jack of all trades VPN. You can use it with one device, and it has all of the basic features, including a kill switch. Now, the only reason I would not recommend Hotspot Shield is if you're someone who is looking to do streaming as well. This is because in the free version, a couple of sites are blocked, including Netflix. And on top of that, you can't stream in high definition. You can only stream videos in standard definition if you're using the basic version. And I found Hotspot Shield to not be the fastest VPN. There are some faster alternatives I'll be covering later, but usually I got speeds of two megabits per second. And so it's not the fastest, but if you're looking for like the perfect average VPN and you're not looking to do any streaming, then Hotspot Shield is the perfect choice for you. Now, if you're looking for a free VPN for the sole purpose of streaming, then I would recommend Winscribe. Winscribe is the perfect option for streaming videos, as well as using services such as Netflix. And with Winscribe, you can use it on Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android, and you get 10 gigabytes of bandwidth per month. Now to get the 10 gigabytes of bandwidth per month, you do have to sign up for an account with your email, but you don't have to put in any credit card information. And then if you tweet about Winscribe as well, you'll get another five gigabytes a month for free. So you're basically getting 15 gigabytes a month or 500 megabytes a day. Now with Winscribe, you can also access 10 different servers, but once again, you're limited to one device. And the reason I would say this one is good for Netflix is because it's one of the few options that don't block Netflix. Other than that, it's your run of the mill VPN and it works great on all the devices I've used it on. Now, the one warning I would give you is that Netflix takes up a lot of bandwidth. The average 30 minute show takes up about 500 megabytes. So with Winscribe, you can only watch one episode a day. And personally, I don't know anyone that watches one episode a day, but I thought I would just warn you guys, just in case you're about to watch a season finale and then your 15 gigabytes is up, I don't want you guys to be angry in the comments. So take that as you will. Now, if you're someone that wants to use as much data as possible, I would recommend ProtoVPN. ProtoVPN is available on Mac, Windows, Linux, iOS, and Android. And once again, you can only use one device, but you have access to three servers. And the best part is that you get unlimited bandwidth with the free version as well. Now with ProtoVPN, I did have a little bit of trouble connecting to a server, but then once I connected, it was smooth sailing from there. So as long as you can get ProtoVPN working, this is a great option if you're someone who wants to, you know, permanently be connected to a VPN and you really value not having your location or IP shared because with ProtoVPN, you can have it on indefinitely on your device and you don't have to worry about, you know, running out of bandwidth or having it turn off for any reason because of the unlimited bandwidth that it provides you. And then in terms of speed, I would say it's comparable to Hotspot Shield. So it's not the fastest, but you're not going to be using ProtoVPN for streaming. It's for more basic tasks and just like day-to-day -day use. So you don't really have to worry about the speed if that's your concern. But if you are concerned about speed, then I would recommend the fourth choice on this list, which is Speedify. Speedify is great if you wanna use a VPN for certain tasks and you don't wanna compromise on, you know, actual wait times and loading times because I found that I got the fastest speeds with this option. Other than that, you know, it's available on all platforms like the previous ones. So Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android. But the only, you know, constraint I would say is that you only get two gigabytes of bandwidth per month with the free version. So you have to use it sparingly. But once again, this isn't something that you'd want to use permanently. It's if you need to quickly switch to a VPN and get things done quickly. Another pro of Speedify is that if you're looking for a VPN that has a lot of servers, with Speedify, you can go to 50 different places and a bunch of them are also located in the States. So if that's something you're 
you're looking for, it's another pro you can consider when deciding as well. But other than that, Speedify is a solid choice if speed is what you're looking for. And the final option on the list is Tunnel Bear. Now Tunnel Bear barely made the list, but I had to include it just in case the other ones don't work for you guys. And the only reason I wouldn't recommend Tunnel Bear over the other ones is because you only get 500 megabytes a month, so you get very little bandwidth to actually play with. But other than that, Tunnel Bear is great because it's very simple to use and it's available on all of the platforms that I mentioned previously. And so if you try out the other VPNs and for, for whatever reason, they're not working with your devices, then I would say Tunnel Bear is a great last resort option. But I would also just put out there that most VPNs only cost a few dollars per month. So if you're using any of these services and you find out that, you know, you want to get more bandwidth or you're really enjoying them, I would say that they're usually worth the price because you know the hassle of actually finding another free one can take more time, but that's just a quick word of advice. But anyways, those are the top five best free, free VPNs on this list. Hopefully you did enjoy this video and if you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.